everyone and welcome back to the series of uh, circuit practice uh, problems. We have here another ob -am, uh, question. Okay, so here we have two ob -ams. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the upper one connected to a 10 volt to the, its positive terminal. The bottom one has a five uh, volt connected to its positive uh, terminal. Now we want to find Vx and Vy, basically Vx, and Vy are the output voltage of the two of amps, Vx and Vy. And also, we want to find what is I0. Okay, this is the first time we have seen, uh, we see uh, something like this, asking for the output current of the op-amp. Now, obviously, there is an output current from the op-amp, and it's not equal to zero, like the input, the input current. So here, we have something new. For the first time, we ask for this. Now, how we deal with this is the same strategy we deal with nodal. First, we have to find all node voltages. And then after that, we can find any other requirements. So since in op -amp questions, we only use nodal analysis. So our objective does not change. We need to find all nodal voltages. And also, we will not apply KCL at this node uh, to find I0 until I finish the first step, which is finding again all nodal or all node voltages. Okay, so we will use exactly the same approach to find Vx and Vy. After we find Vx and Vy, then we will go and apply KCL here to find I0, as we will see here. Okay, so let's let's do the same systematic procedure we have learned so first we need to assign either a voltage or a variable to each node so this node is 10 volts so basically because of the virtual short circuit this is also 10 volts so this is 10 volt so here we'll have 10 volts so this is because the, all of this is just one node okay this is 5 volt so this is also 5 volt and this will be also 5 volts. So we know now this node and we know this node. Now, this node is Vx and this node is Vy. So we have assigned either a voltage or a variable to each node. We are set. Now we will start applying KCL. Okay, we will not apply KCL to the output nodes, to Vx and Vy. So we have only two other nodes. This is the first node. And this is the second node. These are the two nodes that, and I can apply KCL to them. Okay, so let's start KCL at node number number one. So we will have here one, two, three branches. Okay, so we'll have three terms in my in my KCL. So we will have the current that goes up five minus vy divided by the point four kilo plus the current that goes down five minus zero divided the one k plus the one goes to the to the right and then up now the voltage is 10 volt so this is five minus 10 divided by 5k equal to zero so one equation one unknown perfect then we can solve and find Vy directly. Okay, so what we to do, how to uh, analyze this, let's multiply the whole equations by 5K. So we'll get here, if we multiply the whole thing by 5K, this is will become 12.5 times five, five minus five times five plus minus five and this is one equal to equal to zero okay so we have 12.5 times five plus 25 minus five so all of this give me 82.5 minus 12.5 vy so from this your vy will equal to the 82.5 divided by the 12.5 and this will give me 6.6 .6 .6 volt so my Vy now is equal to 6.6 .6 volt. Okay, excellent. Now still I need to have Vx, so I will apply KCL 
at node number number two. So apply KC Hill, as assume all the currents are leaving as we used to do. We have one, two, three branches. So we'll have three terms in my KC. It's very important to check how many branches I have connected to the node so that I know how many terms I'm expecting to see when I apply my KCL. Okay, so uh, this is 10. So the current goes up will be 10 minus Vx divided by 0.5k plus the current that goes down 10 minus Vy. Now I will not use Vy because now I know the value, which is 6.6 .6, uh, divided by 2k plus the current that goes down here all the way to the 5 volt. So this becomes equal to 10 minus 5 divided by the resistance in between, which is the 5k. Three terms, I'm done. This is equal to zero. Again, one equation, one unknown. So I can uh, solve uh, for that very easily. So I will multiply the whole equations times 10K. So we will have here 20 times 10 minus VX plus five times 10 minus 6.6, .6, which is 3.4, plus this will be two times 10 minus five, which is five equal to, equal to zero. Okay, so we will have 200 plus five times 3.4 plus 10, all of this will we will have two to seven minus twenty vx equal to zero, and from this your vx will equal to eleven point three five volt. So I know this voltage now, eleven point three five volt. So I am done with the first requirement. What is the second requirement? Find I zero. Now I am ready to find I zero because now I know everything in this question, and when I I said everything, I means every node voltages. Okay, so we apply KCL now. I will call this is node number three. Now I can apply KCL there. As, as we said before, the only time you apply KCL there after, you know all the node voltages, plus you want to find I0. So KCL at node number, number three. So I0 is entering the node so this becomes i0 and then we'll have two currents this is and this are both leaving the nodes we can assume that of course so this is equal to uh, the this is 6.6 .6 and going up so this is 6.6 .6 minus 10 divided by 2k plus the current that goes down 6.6 .6 minus 5 divided by 0.4k and this is equal to minus 1.7 plus 4 and equal to 2.3 milli, milliamps. And this is the output current of the, of the second uh, of 